أحب الوفاء بشتى الصور أحب الوفي الأمين الأغر Now what I want to look at first of all is the media When people say the media is the problem They're, they're right about most things If you look re, re, All of the research that we have Indicates that media violence Has increased in quantity But it's also more graphic, more sexual And more sadistic this is the khutawat of shaitan. If you watch films from the 1940s, the 1930s, the 1950s, see, you can see it's slow. This is how shaitan gets people. He pulls them step by step. These are his khutawat. You start watching films, they introduce violence. In my country, one of the landmark films was a film called Bonnie and Clyde. That film was a major change in America, in, in cinematography, because before that, graphic violence was not permitted. But this film showed blood, gore. Now that film looks tame compared to what they have out. These are the khutawat of shaitan. And shaitan wants violence and sex are his two, these are because they're very powerful for the human psyche. And these are the two ways that he can really corrupt the heart. By the time the average child in the United States is 18 years old, they will have seen 200,000 acts of violence and 16,000 murders. What do you think this is doing to the psyche? Why do you think America is such a violent country? But our children have been programmed to be violent. Media violence is especially damaging to young children under eight because they cannot easily tell the difference between real life and fantasy. The American Pediatric Association warns that children should not see any television now. This is a, a protocol from a few years back. They shouldn't see any television before the age of three because of the effects they know that it has. That was actually a compromise because the evidence shows that they really shouldn't be seeing any in television while their brains are developing. You have so much children's violence. This is a cartoon for children. You know, this is traumatic for kids, trust me. We ha I have a, a, a person I know who was a, a child psych psychiatrist, and he told me he had so many children that had Disney film trauma. Every single Disney film has a dead mother or a mother who dies in the film. Why do they do that? It's traumatic. They know what they're doing. Disney is an evil empire. And I am not, this is not a joke. Disney is an evil empire. And why does Disney spread this global message out to turn little girls into princesses? You don't want a lot of princesses in a country. You want women that will serve, that will work, that will do things. They don't expect everybody to do it for them. The Disney princess is served. And all the children are little warriors. So they have this violent attitude people have become used to the violence and the sex and so films that would have gotten an x rating in in the 1960s are now rated r and 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 now pg-13 is what used to have an r rating cartoons are very serious this, this uh, cartoon is was done it's for adults the man that does this cartoon literally he's an atheist doesn't believe in anything, makes fun of everything, cynicism, everything's a joke. Kids watch this show. It's a very sophisticated show. This is all about ghosts and, and demons and the occult. The Scooby-Doo has all these occult themes in it. Uh, and then you've got, here's the father of the family, right? Homer Simpson. And there's his relationship with his kid, right? The level of violence during Saturday morning cartoons is higher than the level of violence during prime time. You've got all these cartoons here now and your kids are growing up on this crap and you really have to think seriously, garbage in, garbage out. You have to think seriously about what's being done to your children's minds if you're letting them watch TV. There are three to five violent acts per hour in prime time versus 20 to 25 acts of violence on Saturday morning. Children imitate what they see. If you put a kung fu film and you put a, a bunch of eight-year-olds and they watch a kung fu film, by the time the film's done, they're all kicking each other, right? It's a simple fact of life. <laughs>